Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brad. It's Wednesday, which means it's a brand new comic book day. New comics are hitting the shelves all across the world. Digitally, physically, it's like the best day of the week because it's new comic book day. DC is hooked us up with one of the trades coming out this week. It's Vigilante Southland, written by Gary Phillips with Elena Casagrande. I'm, I'm, yeah, I got that right. And uh, Julia Briscoe. Uh, collects issues one through six of the series. Um... And I say that kind of in a, in a weird way, one through six, because for those who might not remember, this series actually came out in 2016 towards the end of it, and unfortunately it was canceled after issue three. I don't remember if the fourth issue came out. Basically, you didn't, definitely did not get five and six. Uh, so this is the first time we've seen how this series ended, and it's all been collected together. Um, so for those who don't know, this is an update of the classic Vigilante character. It basically takes place in L.A., um has to deal with like corrupt individuals, some vigilant like it's kind of street level vigilanteism, motorcycle type stuff, not much for like the gimmicks. Um, so think of like maybe a little bit green arrow with the gimmicks, not a whole lot. Uh, riding a motorcycle in LA and whipping ass. Uh, this is I think a fantastic addition and I, I kinda wish we seen more of this in DC Universe. I think this would be an awesome um, uh, take into the DC Universe. It's very different. It's different superhero than we normally see with them. Um, I think Gary Phillips is a fantastic writer, especially for, for crime uh, stories. Uh, he had a, a one for, for Vertigo Crime way back in the day. Loved that line of comics and loved his addition to it. Um, so yeah, I'm like, as far as vigilante, straight up street justice type of stuff, this is really, really good. Uh, you know, there was... I'll say there's like some minor issues with it in that not everything's quite explained. There's some like choppiness a little bit in the storytelling. Things kind of fall into place a little bit too easy. But that's kind of what it feels like. It feels like that 70s kind of like revenge story, like a Death Wish type of thing. Or um, I'm trying to think of some of the other kind of like crime ones like that. But with the vigilante. And it's just where everything just kind of works out. It's kind of got that vibe, but I think that's kind of what he was going for. So I... I'm quite okay with it because I love those type of stories and I'm a product of the 80s. Like, I, I love the, the over-the-top violent things that you just turn your brain off. Uh, so go check, like, definitely get this if you're into those type of stories. Uh, the art is cool. Like, I, I dig the style of the characters. I dig the, um, uh, we're just going to tease this. This is, this is like how it opens. So I like the characters. Everyone looks very different. It's a lot of great design on it. The, the city looks like a character. You really get a vibe for everything. Um, as far as extras, not really a whole lot here. We get some covers, some, some uh, variant covers, but there's really not much as far as that. I like this. Basically, if you read the first three issues and you wish you got the, the four, five, six, here's your opportunity to do that. Um, if you just like the idea of like a street vigilante with not really much powers, really no powers, a few gimmicks, then you'll probably dig this too. Uh, so go check this out. Like maybe if we sell enough of these, then DC could bring back the character in some way. Um, one idea? Go a little anthology. Have the character show up in that. Would be kind of awesome. I love anthologies. Great way to test out characters. Hint, hint, hint. Uh, so, go get this now in comic book shops. It'll be out in bookstores next week. Uh, there's a little slight delay in that. First and foremost, go support your comic book shops. Without them, industry is going to like collapse and suck. So, uh, to get find a local comic book shop, we've got a link beneath this video. It is a, uh, you go put in your zip code, it'll tell you the shops near you. No shop near you? No problem. We've got two affiliate links. The affiliate links are exactly that affiliate links. So, we do get a little bit of, uh, of your purchase through that. But by doing that, you support our site. Uh, but just watching this video, you support our site and like sharing and commenting and stuff like that. So, thank you very much. Of course, I want to thank DC Comics for hooking us up with this. Um, Please do more. Bring Gary Phillips back at least. That, like he can do some cool stuff. I think. Um, but yeah, like as always, thanks for the support. If you're into DC Comics, if you're into DC Comics, if you're into comics in general, if you're into Vigilante, sure, why not? Uh, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Till next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. 
you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.